Hey crafters, welcome to another Club G45 video tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make this quick and easy, fun little woman card. This card is great for all occasions and bright, vivid, bold. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to create. Uh, but first, let me introduce myself. I'm Shari here uh, with Graphic 45, and I am excited to be sharing our Club G45 Volume 3 with you today. We're doing this every month. We've got a kit that gets shipped out if you're an auto subscriber, or you can uh, just buy one at a time if you're lucky enough to get a hold of one. So be sure to hop on over to your G45 retailer or onto our website, g 45 papers.com and hurry and scoop up one of these awesome kits so in the kit you get tons of goodies you get this deep square matchbook box a collection pack square tags ink as well as brads and the best part is you get full color step-by-step -step directions that teach you how to recreate two different projects every month. They're totally new projects every month with new products. So it's really fun. And um, it, a part of volume three, we did a video tutorial on this gorgeous box that has this fold out fun folio on the inside. So you're gonna wanna be sure to hop on over and watch that video as well. But in this one, we're keeping it simple and having some good fun with this card. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera in a little bit closer and we'll get started on this step-by-step -step tutorial. All right, so let's take a closer look at this awesome little woman card. This is created with our volume three kit. We also created a box and a really awesome interactive folio album. So you still have enough goodies to make this and even more stuff after that. But this is a fun and simple card. I love the idea of this card because you can use it for birthdays, Mother's Day, graduation, any celebratory event because these are bright, happy, vivid colors. And it's really simple and easy to recreate. I would challenge you to do two at a time rather than one some of these chip or some of these uh, tag pieces you don't have two of but i'm sure that with your collection set and everything else that you can make it work so let's go ahead and jump into this gorgeous card and start the party so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take a piece of cardstock paper i'm using some craft cardstock and it's uh, 12 by 12 and you're going to want to cut that down until you have an 11 and a half hold on let me make sure i get this direction this dimension right for you you're going to want to cut this down until you have a uh it's a four and a half or sorry four and a fourth by 11 inch piece and then you're going to score that on the long side at five and a half so you'll be creating a four and a fourth inch card base by five and a half so it's um it should look like this once you're all done an easy step you can use whatever color you'd like ivory would also look good or black um, so whatever you've got in your stash feel free to use that the next thing that we are going to do after we've created our card base is we are gonna go ahead and from our full bloom paper, we are gonna cut out a piece that's four and one eighths inch by five and three eighths, or vice versa, five and three eighths by four and one eighths inch. And this is going to be mounted onto our card front like so and we're going to go ahead and do that now. Make it easy. And we want the black floral side to be showing. <laughs> you can see I was looking away while I was adding on some adhesive. So, so far easy breezy. If you're new to card making, we're excited to have you joining us. If you have been doing this for years, we'd love to hear from you about your favorite tips and tricks in card making. Alrighty, so we've got that down and now we are going to go ahead and 
cut out some more of our full plume. This time we are cutting out a piece that's three and a half inches by four and a half inches. And then we want to cut a cardstock mat of whatever the cardstock you're using for your card base. This is just going to punch up uh, your uh, design and make it a little more dimensional. And this is going to be at three and five eighths inch by four and five eighths inch. And we're going to be doing the reverse side so you can see the glory of both sides of this gorgeous sheet of paper. You know, Diane, the designer of our papers, and also my mother, um, is very thoughtful when she's putting together all of the pieces, colors, and pages of our collections. She likes to make sure that the B side goes perfectly well with what's on the reverse side and to make sure that every page is beautiful, full of dimension, and gorgeous imagery. This collection, of course, was inspired by Little Woman, an amazing novel, and like a lot of you know, it's been turned into a really amazing movie as well. We love that it celebrates family and women and all things beauty as well as arts, piano and things like that. So it's something that strikes near and dear to us since we do love the arts and family being a family owned company. Um, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do, and I'm going a little bit out of order from the directions, you can do it how you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this uh, scalloped sticker border at the top and then I'm gonna do my hole punching. That way I just kind of can eyeball everything a little bit more to my liking. So I just took off the whole scalloped border and I'm just gonna cut it to fit my needs. So I'm having it match right up with the blue of full bloom and just cut off the excess of what I don't need. And I can put this back onto my sticker sheet, which I have here. You can see I've already done the box and folio for volume three, and we have been really making the best out of this collection. Look at how much we've already used and have, have been having so much fun. So we've got that down. We can see we're starting to build together some extra dimension and elements. Uh, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, take a hole punch or crop a dial. Um, and if you don't have one, you can also pop the heads off of your brads and um, glue those on that way, which I showed in the last tutorial with the mini album or the folio album. So however you wanna do it, that is the beauty of creativity is that to each their own and the more you adventure and explore the more techniques are found and the more we can share with each other which is the best part of this industry it's all the sharing and fun we get to have together even if it is only over the internet so be sure to share your tips in our comments because we love to hear from you. So I am going to put this brad in that hole. Now just having my flanges go that way and then I'll do the same with the second one. These are a part of the volume three kit as well and they're also on our website under g45papers.com. They're a beautiful brad and the kits you get a brass brad but um, what i had left here in the office unfortunately was only the shabby chic so that is what i'm using in my samples but you can see that they work beautiful interchangeable and they're both great to work with so now that i have added my brads to there to my card base i can add, start to add on some more layered papers so from sisterly love i have cut out a little scrap piece and i would if you are going to do both the projects recommend to do the folio and box first and then do your card because you'll have a lot of bits and pieces already left over so you won't have to be cutting into those full pages but if you're just joining us for the card you know rip into those papers and let's get busy 
So this is from Sisterly Love. It's been cut down to three and a half by one and a half. And this is just a nice little border that we're adding onto this blue to really make our card stand out and pop. And leave beautiful. So you can see how it is all coming together so nicely. And next I am going to grab from my tags and pockets. We only have two pieces left after we did that folio. So we're going to be using both of those up, which we always love when we get to use everything. We don't want to waste anything because we are scrapbookers after all. So we're going to take this flourished tag and pocket and we are going to pop this up. So whatever foam ad adhesive you have or prefer, go ahead and pull that out and let's add some dimension to this project. So. Making sure to cover all your bases. Now we can pop these little dots off. And this, we just want to center. I'm going to be working right side up for me. Okay. We have that centered and it's looking good. And now we've got this one last piece from our die cut tags and pockets. And as you can see in our original sample and on the project sheet, we have it uh, right in the center, which looks beautiful. However, I'm thinking I'm going to do mine a little bit differently, you know, to each their own. And I'm going to pop mine off on the side. That way I have room for writing a sentiment. So whatever occasion I decide to give this out for, if it is a birthday or Mother's Day, I can go ahead at that time, fill in or stamp or with my handwriting, uh, write in my greeting. But it's also fun, you know, when you just have it in your card box ready to go, that it is open for interpretation. So that is looking beautiful. Since I did put it off on the side, it does still overhang. So if you do want to put this in an envelope, you might want to be more mindful of your uh, edges overhanging and put that maybe somewhere, let's see, somewhere where it doesn't do that. So you could even go like this, something like that. Perfect. So from here, we are gonna add a cute little sticker tag with another sticker on top. And we want to use some of that scrap card stock that we have left over to mount on our sticker tag. So I'm gonna just take this Cameo now while I've got my sticker page and put it onto that yellow tag we're gonna be using. I can put my sticker page down for a second and go ahead and pop out the circle. Let's see, it came off on my finger. Now we're gonna put this onto our craft cardstock and just cut around there, creating a cute little embellishment. And that way we're getting rid of some of the stickiness of the sticker so it can overhang off our card and not try to stick to anything. It's also a great way to add some extra strength to your embellishments if you do want to use some of these in that way. And you can see Kathy has added some twine, but I'm gonna leave mine a little more on the simple side and not add that. And go ahead and glue down my statement piece. All right, make sure these brads aren't going anywhere. Perfect. So 
So just make sure that you're sticking that down nicely. And then I'm gonna take this little sticker element that we created and have that tucking underneath this tag just a little bit overhanging. Ooh, I love how this is turning out. So this is the front of our card. You can see the twine does add a really nice accent, but it looks beautiful without. And then once we open this up, we are just have a little more decorating we wanna do. Since you can see that tag from the inside, we can take another one of those Cameo stickers. And have that coming off just like that so it does have a nice little edge looking good and then with the scraps of full bloom and sisterly love we have taken a four by one eighth piece by or sorry four and an eighth by one and a half and we've cut them both to the same dimensions and now we are just going to adhere them onto our pages and you can see Kathy and her sample has used the same of each, but I did one of Sisterly Love and one of Full Bloom just because of my scraps that I had left over. So be, you know, just use what you have. Why would you let those scraps go to waste when you could make the inside of your card stand out and be even more beautiful? So that's there, and this is here. Fantastic. And then last but not least, let's add a little sentiment. So from our sticker page, we've got life and love are very precious when both are in full bloom. That has a frame as well as the inside little quote. So you can use them together or separately. And this, I'm just gonna put here, looking good. And there you have it. We have got our handmade cards all done, ready for any occasion. And it was super simple to make, so we hope that you enjoy making this card and make a lot of them in the future. Um, and be sure to share them with us on our Instagram and Facebook using the hashtag Club G45. And as always, happy paper crafting. Mm -hmm.